Well, it all started about two decades ago, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we came um, on separate paths, you know, f uh, from Venezuela. I'm originally from Venezuela. I came with a degree in chemical engineering, uh, but with my background, you know, being from Venezuela and being the oil uh, industry is so prevalent, you know, back home. My dad used to work for the National Oil Company in Venezuela. I had this idea that I have to go for petroleum engineering. That will be the way to go for a bright future. And uh, it was always in my mind to go for graduate studies. Uh, back then, I had a scholarship from my government to go abroad and uh, engage in graduate studies. So my plan originally was to come to Penn State for two years and then go back, work for an international oil company, be famous and have a bright future, uh, travel in the world. And that was 20 years, approximately 20, almost 20 years ago. Um, and then you met me. And then I met you. <laughs> then we met, so your, your path was uh, somehow okay, Kind similar. of similar, I, I came a semester later. Um, I, so I met her, she was here already. I'm from Venezuela also. I, I was single, I was ready to tackle the PhD program. Uh, I met her, uh, so that changed a bit the, the, what we wanted to do. Uh, but again, we went through, it was a five years PhD. We graduated about 2004, 2005, and, and we never thought that we were going to transition to a faculty. That was an opportunity to develop at the time, which was fantastic. In my case, academia was very natural to me because my father was my professor back in Venezuela. I took classes from him back in, the, in college. So and the class in thermodynamics that I teach right now uh, kind of mimic what I learned from him. So I, as a kid, I, I would go to classes and, and sit there, and, and, and I, acad academia for me felt so natural. So I knew I was going to go into academia. I didn't know I was going to do it here in the state. But then when the opportunity presented to yes. both of us, it yes. was an offer. It was quite to unique. Refuse. It was yeah. quite unique. So from even from my master's towards my PhD, you know, I met Luis, like he said, I had the opportunity to continue pursuing my research. And to me, it was, you know, somehow natural as well. Right. My uh, like I said before, my dad worked for the National Oil Company back home. My mom taught organic chemistry at a college level. So I've been between books for, you know, a good portion of my life. And, and uh, towards the end of our PhD, we're already married. And uh, it was presented to us, you know, uh, you know, a path of, you know, what to do now that we graduated. And uh, there was an opportunity uh, in our department to pursue a faculty position. You know, we both applied. And, and not are. knowing where that yep. would turn, That's and true. then we both ended up being, you know, tenure track faculty, mm -hmm. and that, you know, presented itself a completely new uh, stage. And it's interesting that throughout the, the entire time we've been here at Penn State, we've had the opportunity to have very different roles as we progress, first as master's students and as PhD students, which uh, is also a little bit of a different um, uh, experience than as junior faculty, more senior faculty, parents, uh, so we have experienced not only Penn State, but State College through different phases. And as we continue to progress, it continues to unveil, you know, new things that we could be doing. And that's, um, and and that's yeah. how it's progressed. And yeah. it comes full, full circle because uh, right now, as I mentioned, uh, I'm also in the graduate program. Now I'm the one in charge of looking at the application from international students right as we were back in 1999. Yes. Yes. So I, c I can see the hopes, I can see what they're looking for. So we always try to present Penn State as the place where they can be, they can, they can grow, they can, they can see us as their new family, the extended family. And that's something that attracted us, uh, the way Penn State treated our applications and how they reached out to us. And we felt that the they follow up, uh, it was very important for us. So we, we felt that when you jump into the unknown, you know you, it's not so now, you know someone, or someone seems to care about you, and then the caring is real, so, and, and that's what we uh, found here at Penn State. Yeah, and earlier this year, I was also appointed as chair for the Petroleum and Natural Gas Engineering <laughs> Program, <laughs> and that was an opportunity to also, you know, work and manage, you know, resources, our faculty, our people, in a way that will serve a program that I benefited from, you know, years past. So that brings another level, I think, of connection and responsibility that's, to me, has been, you know, part of the motivation to, to move towards sure. that. It's, it's, it's students, it's being professors, junior professors, senior professors, going through tenure, and also being part of administration right now. And then Suleyma now joined uh, Old Main for an admin fellow position. Yes. We, have, we, we have been blessed 
with opportunities to look at things from different perspectives. And, and that gives you a deeper understanding and gives you more tools to help others because you can see it from different angles.